Hi, it's Heather, and I am inspired. I have been watching the DVDs of Julia Child's series, The French Chef. I am so bowled over by her simplicity, by her humor, by her back to basics cooking. So I'm gonna make the old school classic shrimp cocktail. I'm basing it on one of her recipes from a later book that she did with Jacques Pepin, fabulous book, and I'm gonna pair it with one of my favorite all time romantic wines. Let's get cooking. We are going to start with, of course, the shrimp. I have here about two and a half pounds of colossal shrimp. That means they have about 16 to 20 shrimp per pound. And these came frozen from Costco, a great place to get your shrimp. I like them because they have the shell on, but they have been deveined already. You don't need to take that vein out. It's perfectly fine to eat it. It just makes a more elegant presentation. So what I'm gonna do now is just peel the shrimp and save the peels. Uh, you wanna leave on just the little tip uh, for a handle. Uh, you could take it off, but it's again, more elegant. So here I have my shrimp already peeled and I have my shells, which I'm gonna use in the poaching liquid. Now when you're poaching something, whether it's turkey or chicken or fish or shrimp, you wanna poach it in something that has flavor. I'm making here what's called a court bouillon, which is basically just, um, you know, water and a variety of flavorings. I have tarragon and parsley, onions, carrots, celery, and some lemon peel, a bay leaf, some pepper. I'm gonna put it right in. And then I'm adding the shrimp shells into it as well. That way, I mean, the shrimp shells give a tremendous amount of flavor. If I weren't using the shrimp shells, I would freeze them for another purpose later. Uh, I also like to add a little acid. So I squeeze some lemon in. You could just slice some lemon into it, but that white part, the pith, can be really bitter. Um, and the way you just get the uh, peel off, you just take a peeler and just you know, slice it in. Uh, I also am gonna add a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon. And uh, I'm gonna add an extra, I don't know, maybe half cup of wine, white wine. And we're gonna cover it. Let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll start poaching. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, and my uh, poaching liquid is ready. I'm going to add my shrimp all at once and bring it back up to the boil. Uh, I'm going to let it go for 30 seconds, and then turn my heat off, cover it, and let it sit for 10 minutes in the liquid, and then we'll chill it. Okay, so now I'm ladling out my shrimp. It's okay if I get the other stuff in there. And I'm gonna put it in a different container so I can chill it. You could do it in the pot. Just covering it up with some of the broth. There's one more shrimp. And uh, covering it up. And in it goes. Nothing says welcome like a heaping platter of shrimp cocktail. I have this paired with the classic sauce, which is essentially ketchup and horseradish. Very delicious. It's a bit zesty, so it needs a wine that can take the heat. I've chosen a Riesling, a very light uh, wine that's great to start a party with. Uh, however, shrimp cocktail is the kind of romantic dish that you can really pair with something special. Uh, I've done that, but I have a different sauce. I have a shallot lemon uh, oil which works beautifully and will show this wine well. This is it. This is a white burgundy, which means it's 100% Chardonnay from the Merceau region. Every California Chardonnay you have ever tasted wants to be this wine. Not cheap, but fabulous. So get your shrimp cocktail, find somebody you really want to talk to, and have a glass. So good TV.